Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use checkboxes to select and deselect photos so they appear or are hidden based on the selection we make with checkboxes. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. Now I've done previous tutorials that allow you to select photos from a drop-down list and here's an example of that where I can have different choices here, grapes, glasses, sun, and heart, and depending which one I choose, it will display that specific photo. And this could be very useful in catalogs and such. And I will list all the different tutorials that I've done relative to this topic uh, below so you can access those in case you have any interest to those. But in this tutorial, we're going to do something a little different. Notice I have all four of the photos that I want displayed with checkboxes here. And when I uncheck them, they disappear. Or when I check them, they reappear. So you can select any or all of the items and have those photos appear. And when they're unchecked, they just have a blank. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here we just have a blank spreadsheet that I called Catalog Checkboxes and another tab called Photos. And in the Photos I have the names Grapes, Glasses, Sun, Heart, and Blank and the images that I want. And notice these are just photos that I've inserted in those cells. Now also notice that the photo has to be contained totally within the cell. It could not overlap the edge of the column or row. It must be well contained within the cell that I'm going to reference in our formulas. So the other thing I want to do here is I want to name the cells that these images are in based on the names that I have in column A. So I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to go to the formulas tab and select create from selection. Left column is selected. I will say OK. And now you can see that when I click on any one of those cells, it is named based on the label that I had in column A. So we have grapes, glasses, sun, heart, and blank. Now I'm going to go over to the other tab, catalog checkboxes. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take, actually I'm going to highlight these four and I'm going to copy those and I'm going to paste them here in column B and I'm just going to get rid of the borders that we had around those. And I'm also going to center them just so it looks a little bit nicer there. I have them centered in our rows and columns. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert checkboxes here in column A. So I'm going to go to the Developer tab. I'll choose Insert and I'll select from Form Controls, Checkboxes, and I'm going to draw that checkbox right there. I'll position it a little bit better. And I'm going to right click on that and select Edit Text. And I'm just going to hold down my Delete key to delete all the text. The next thing I'm going to do is right click on that and copy it. And I'll just go to the cells below and I'm going to Control V to paste those checkboxes into those cells. So now I have four checkboxes that I can check or uncheck and I have the names that I want uh, to label the photos or the images I want to bring in in column B. Next I need to right click on each one of the checkboxes and go to format control and select a link cell. So in this case I'm going to select the cell in column C for each one of my checkboxes. So this will take just a second here to do that. I'm going to do this for each one of the four that I have so that I have a control cell or a link cell that is tied to each checkbox. Say OK there. And now I only need to do the last one. Cell link. I'll choose C4 here. OK and OK. So <clears throat> now when I check the checkbox, I get a true. When it's unchecked, I get a false. So that will give me a cell that I can tie a formula to. 
Next, I'm going to insert my formulas. So I'm going to say equals if this cell equals true, true, then give me the data that's in column B. If not, then I just want blank. And notice blank was the name that I gave to the last cell in the photos page. I'll hit enter and I'll copy that down. And now when I check this, if it's true, I get grapes. If it's unchecked, I get blank. And that's the case for any one of the four different options that I have there. Okay, great. Next step is to go to the Photos tab, select a photo and copy that photo, and go back and paste it in the cell in column E. And again, I want to center that so it looks good. Now while it's selected, I'm going to go up to the Formulas tab, Name Manager, New, and I'm going to name the formula that I'm going to use here. In this case, I'm going to name this one Grape Photo. And my formula is going to be equals indirect. And I'm going to click on column D, the cell, or in this case, cell D1. Close my parentheses, say OK and close that off. And again, while it's selected, now I'm going to go up to my formula bar and type in equals, and I call this one grape photo, so I'm just going to start typing GRA. Grape photo is highlighted. I'll hit tab and hit enter. And again, I'll just position that a little bit better. And now, since this says blank, I get a blank cell, which is actually this cell down here that I named blank. If I check it, this turns to grapes and now it is pulling in the cell or the image that's in the cell here that's called grapes. And that's what the indirect function does. If I type equals indirect, you'll see it returns the reference specified by a text string. In this case, the text string is the word grapes and what's the reference to grapes but this cell here. So it looks into this cell and says, okay, what is the reference of the text grapes? That's the cell that I have here that has this image. So I'm going to pull that into there. So if I uncheck it, I get blank. So it's pulling in the image that's in the blank cell here or the cell named blank, which in this case is just a blank cell so I get a blank image. If I check it, it pulls in the word grapes and it gives me the image that's in the cell called grapes. So now we just need to do that to the other four. I'll highlight that one, copy it, go over to this cell, paste it, center it how I want it, formula, name manager, new. This one I'm going to call glasses photo and in the refers to I'll type equals indirect parentheses click on cell D2 close my parentheses say OK and close and again while it's selected I'll go up to my formula bar and type equals glasses photo I can go down to that hit tab hit enter and again, since it says blank here, I get the blank cell. If I check it, that changed the glasses, and the glasses image comes in. The other two we'll try to do quickly. Copy, paste, center it how I want it. Formula tab, name manager, new. This one we'll call sun photo down in the refers to equals indirect parentheses click on D3 close parentheses OK and close and then while it's selected type equals sun photo tab hit enter check that make sure it's working sure is 
last one right click I'm sorry I can just click on it control C to copy control V to paste center it how I want it formula name manager new heart photo just so they're all the same refers to equals indirect parentheses reference that close parentheses okay close equals heart photo tab enter selected it works uncheck it it goes away and now I can hide these two columns right click select hide and now I can check or uncheck any one of these and the images will either display or hide based on how I've selected or checked or unchecked the checkboxes. And that's how easy it is to do in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.